everybody, welcome back to the swing shop here at Hunt Morphin. Today we're going to talk a little bit about your training and how to make it more productive for you. A question I've been asking a lot of hitters in the cage last few weeks is, I mean, they'll take a swing, result won't really be exactly like I want to see it, effort's not really there, and I ask them, I said, I mean, is that, a kind, is that the swing you want to feel yourself take in a game? Effort-wise, speed-wise, stability-wise, control-wise, is that the kind of swing that I want to feel when I'm in the box? Most of the time their answer is no. Okay? If you want to improve yourself as a hitter, you really want to get better, I want to take myself, my game to the next level, okay? then you've got to start working with a feel of what you want to feel in a game. You can't take swings off a tee that don't have the energy, the effort, the intention behind it that you would want to have in a game because I'm not really going to improve my swing. Okay, a lot of you know the hand drills that we work through, one hand, two hand, all that kind of stuff. Something that we really emphasize when kids finally get the mechanics of what we're trying to do, they understand what we're trying to do, we start lowering the teeth, okay? Because they're not hitting this ball a lot in a game. Pitchers aren't throwing that. They're throwing the ball down in the zone. All right, so if that's the ball that I've got to really be able to hit, I can't get up here every time I'm working off a tee and just stand here and try to get past the ball and try to drive inside the ball. Because my body's not in any kind of position like it should be or would be if I was in a game. So I've got to kind of forget about the tee for a minute and get myself in that real athletic, comfortable hitter's position. And that's the position that I've got to start doing my hands drills in. Down here like an athlete, like a hitter. Down in my weight, driving. Notice how my body stays real still. Okay, I'm, I'm working the same concept, working on my hand getting past the ball, no feet, no shoulders, but notice how low I am to the ground. If I go lower, same thing, that's a strike. We've got to get ourselves past just doing reps, past just taking swings off the tee, and get it feeling more game-like, okay? The same thing, if I do it again, okay? Notice, you'll see a lot of the same stuff, down just like I would be if I was hitting in a game, that's right where I'd want to be if the pitcher was getting set on the mound. And then I'm thinking elbow inside, good core, good legs. Boom. Right past that ball. Okay, then I move the same concept into my two-hander. Game like. Game like. I don't do anything in my training that doesn't feel game like. Gotta be wasting effort, wasting energy. Down on my legs. Get past that ball. Could have used a little more core there. Hands kind of got away from my body. Driving inside. Just like that. Okay? One more. Everything's game like. I'm gonna go lower for you. Everything's game like. Kids freak out when you put that ball on the tee that low. But again, if I'm a hitter, if I really want to be good at hitting, I got to hit that pitch and I got to do it properly. Can't allow myself to cheat. Get past that ball. Okay, we're going to follow this video up with lower half drills, weight shift pipe, and show you how we implement the same thought process into those drills as well. But in the meantime, if you have questions, post them down below. Don't hesitate. If you need help, contact us right here at the Swing Shop at Hunt More Official. We'll see you next time. Hit more!